Hello everyone, and welcome to the Benny Late Than Never News, where the VR news is either old, new, or up and coming. No matter how, it's served fresh here tonight. Let's embark on this immersive journey together with your fabulous host, Creeper Betty VR. Thank you, Andrew, for another amazing introduction. I am Creeper Betty VR, as Andrew stated, and welcome to another episode of Betty Late Than Never News. So let's get the show started, shall we? So after episode two of Betty Late Than Never News, I went and I turned on my PSVR headset. I wanted to relax and just chill, and so I plugged in before your eyes on PSVR 2. It was absolutely amazing. I just kicked back and relaxed, enjoyed the experience and the adventure that I went through. Before your eyes, you embark on an emotional award-winning adventure where you control the story and affect its outcome with real life blinks. The game is controlled by the blinking of your eyes. Absolutely crazy. It gives new meaning to your life passes before you in a blink of an eye. In this unique VR experience, you will fully immerse yourself in a world of memories, both joyous and heartbreaking as your whole life flashes before your eyes. The story of Before Your Eyes begins after your death aboard the ship of a mythical ferryman tasked with shepherding your souls to the afterlife. In order to help you pass on, he must first learn the story of your life, and so he sends you you back to relive your most important moments. Precious memories of family, first love, and the rise of an artistic career. By combining its innovative blink interaction mechanic with a charming world and a fully voice acted story, Before Your Eyes is a deeply emotional and relatable journey. One about the impossible expectations we place on ourselves and the regrets we carry with us. It was really good. It hit a lot of notes. I just sat there, I did a live stream of this game experience. I wanna call it an experience because it wasn't really a game. And I had friends with me and they were handing me tissues <laughs> through the chat. Definitely something I would like to go back and see if I can get maybe a different ending because I know based off your decisions and the answers that you give when you're passing through, it does affect your ending of the game. And it was developed by Goodbye World Games. I like that name. Goodbye world. <laughs> Goodbye worlds. <laughs> Love that name. And it was published by Skybound Games. The release date for Before Your Eyes, it was actually back in 2021 as an adventure game after winning multiple awards on other platform Before Your Eyes was released as a new PSVR 2 game on March 9th, 2023, just a few months ago. And the mechanics were a lot of fun to use. I didn't even have to really use my controllers, just only to start the game. So that brings me to our next game. I really wanted, I really wanted to play <laughs> Green Hell. <laughs> I don't know why this game is so hard for me to settle down and play, but I had it scheduled to, to play on Wednesday. I was all excited about it, but I never put on the headset and I never played it. Something else must have came up. I didn't stream Green Hell like I wanted to, but I will definitely be doing that next week. Probably will do it live and fumble around. So the next game I would like to talk about, there is no Green Hell, but there is Firewall Ultra. And yes, I said it right, Firewall Ultra. Ultra. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Firewall Alter, it was developed by First Contact Entertainment and it was released on 824. Just yesterday, I dropped everything to play this game with my old Firewall crew. It was absolutely amazing. It brought back so many memories, so many nostalgic feelings. It got a whole makeover. The visuals were absolutely gorgeous and spot on. The lighting looked great. Everything was placed correctly in the tutorial so you could just get around and one of the things that did disappoint me that I noticed that wasn't in there anymore is the jammer. I was very very sad about the jammer. 
It was so fun always playing that in a conspicuous place, seeing people freaking out. They don't have jammers anymore for the computer. That was kind of disappointing because that was one of my favorite things to do, one of Hack the Game Cat's favorite things to do. He actually taught me how to place the jammers really well. There's no jammers. I'm hoping, crossing fingers, that they'll bring that back in a patch because there's definitely gonna be some patches to this game for sure. Last night when we were playing, a gentleman stopped by, his name was Zach. He stated that, you know, he was so excited to see us playing the game, happy that we were having fun, but yet he wanted to let us know that he was aware of the multiplayer issues that were going on. The matchmaking was broken, or is broken, I should say. They're desperately scrambling to get this fixed. And I truly appreciate that. With Ghost of Tabor, I'm totally okay with, you know, a little bit of jank here and there, some forgiveness on things that may or may not work right, because I know the game is in progress, and but it's playable and it's a lot of fun, right? But when Firewall Ultra came out, I was really hoping that this, this is a full game. We're gonna go back in it. We're gonna have fun. But no, I, I miss the aim controller, but definitely multiplayer is broken and that makes me sad. And while I was waiting for the crew to come and join me, I did try to jump into a multiplayer match. Met some really great people, but the matchmaking wasn't working. Like we sat there, I wanna say for 25 minutes, 30 minutes and nothing. And then all of a sudden we would be in the game. Met some really great people there, DG or DBG, um, he's from the UK, he was absolutely hilarious. Um, met a really great guy named Little Mochi, who loves his PSVR 2 and started watching PSVR 2 without parole, so I was like, yes! He loves AJ, he watched AJ play Firewall. They did mention that they're gonna be getting another patch out, I d they didn't announce when that patch was coming. Again, I, I appreciate that Zach swung by, and I do have some forgiveness however I appreciate a game that is complete and not rushed out the door and I felt like this was a little rushed out the door we still had a blast I loved playing with my crew another thing that I didn't quite understand and I would have been perfectly fine with as my friend Justin Incredible pointed out it's 2023 guys and a lot of the first person shooter games out there have their grenades on their chest where you can just rip them off and throw them so maybe you can add that to a patch. I don't know, please, that would be super great. That was enough of the Firewall Ultra. Had a great time with my old crew and I'm looking forward to playing again this weekend. So the next game I would like to talk about is Crossfire Sierra Squad on PSVR 2. I think all of the games I'm gonna be talking about today are on the PSVR 2, which is fine because that is where my heart lies. Crossfire Sierra Squad PSVR 2, the release date for this one is going to be on August 29th, 2023. The developer is uh, Smilegate Entertainment. In Crossfire Sierra Squad, you are the leader of an elite paramilitary fire team within the Global Risk Organization facing an unexpected skirmish with the rival Blacklist organization. Um, you're gonna battle a variety of crafty enemies in a relentless search for the truth. Ooh. And prove why you were selected as the intrepid leader for the most feared special unit in existence, Sierra Squad. <laughs> Is it multiplayer? Yes, it is multiplayer. Now this is where it gets really cool. Through 50 squad missions. 50 squad missions. That's crazy. Single player or two player co-op. There are 13 campaign missions that are all single player and a horde mode up to four player co-ops. That's gonna keep us pretty busy. Horde mode's gonna be absolutely nuts. With four players, I cannot wait. I actually had the opportunity to test the game when I was in GDC in San Francisco in March of this year. The developers were so sweet, so kind, so nervous. And actually, I was quite nervous too. It was so exciting. And they were very anxious to see what we all had to say. There was Mash, Todd, Wes, and myself that were there to test it out. And um, I honestly think they didn't realize how good of a game they had. I had a blast playing it. And when I got my headset off, literally one of the developers, he was tearing up 
because we had such great things to say about this game. So definitely looking forward to playing Sierra Squad. So, and it's going to be released midnight, August 29th. The next game I want to talk about, and I kind of have to giggle to myself, but it's Phasmophobia. I mean, come on. On the, on the PC VR, it is so janky. So I am highly curious at what this is going to be like on PSVR 2. Um... It's uh, the developers are, are from Kinetic Games, and it was actually supposed to be released in August. I was reading around, and I ran into PlayStationLifestyle.net. They had some information about Phasmophobia. From PlayStationLifestyle.net, they stated the following. With a tentative release window of August 2023 fast disappearing. <laughs> it's almost gone, guys. August 2023 is like... Heading out the door right now. Uh, developer Kinetic Games has confirmed a new release date for a multiplayer horror, Phasmophobia, with PS5 and PSVR 2 versions coming in October instead. Which is, I think that's perfect. I mean, October, it's Halloween. That is when you want to play all the spooky, scary games. And I really can't wait. <laughs> Following along with that, Kinetic Games did ha send out a letter. This is the letter from the developer, a piece of it. And it said, Dear Phasmophobia community, First and foremost, we'd like to thank you all for your support and that you are just excited as we are for the console release. And we are excited. Due to a recent fire incident in our office building and a unpredicted development issue, our ability to test and develop has been significantly impacted. Well, that sucks. Like, first of all, to have a fire in your building, that would put you back for sure. An unpredicted development issue? I wonder what that was. <laughs> And then the letter goes on to lay out the new plan. After careful consideration, we have made the tough decision to delay the console release, initially set for August, while we get everything sorted out. Understandable. I get it. Thank you. Actually, thank you for not putting out Jake because you had a release date. Thank you. And it says your patience and understanding means everything to us and we can't wait to bring Phasmophobia to the consoles. I am excited that they're excited. Phasmo has always been a bucket full of jank, but it's also been a bucket full of fun. People just keep going in for more and more. So great job, Kinetics. I am super stoked for you. Great job, Kinetic Games, with your communication. All is forgiven because honestly, I think Phasmo would probably be better off released around that time in October. I think it's going to be a huge hit. That's it for Phasmophobia, PSVR 2 by Kinetic Games. Release date is going to be sometime at the end of October. Congratulations, Kinetic Games. You're doing all the right things. I'm really sorry for the fire. That sucks. I'm glad that everybody's safe and that um, you didn't lose too much. And I think October is going to be the perfect time to release this game. So on to the next game that I want to talk about. I need to find some equipment to talk about. And I do have some equipment and coming to talk about. I'm kind of holding off on that. So we're going to have a commercial and I'm wondering if I should even start a TikTok. We did Before Your Eyes. We've done Crossfire Sierra Squad. We've talked about Phasmophobia and then we talked about Firewall Ultra. Am I done? No way. I'm done. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess that's the end of this show. Episode three. And I'm right this time. It is episode three. <laughs> Why did that go by so fast? I am not ready to leave. <laughs> I can't thank you all enough, all the new subscribers out there for joining my channel and, and watching it grow with me and grow with me in the virtual reality world. I can't thank you all enough for swinging by, hanging out with me while I do this show and be there with me by my side, supporting me, encouraging me. So much encouragement out there. Thank you so much. With that being stated, I'm going to go ahead and end this show. But at the end, I'm going to have, of course, the bloopers will be there. But I made a video of the Firewall Ultra stream we did last night with everybody. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I had a lot of fun making it. And yeah, that's it, guys. That's a wrap. Hope to see you next week. Same channel, same time, 
same Betty, same virtual reality.
dog just distracted me. Dang it. Um, anyway, so that's enough of the... Uh, bleh, I almost did it. Oh, 